This month, Google released version 98 of Chrome for Android, iOS, Windows, and Linux. And as more people begin using the update, more of its features get discovered. And a hidden feature tucked away in the latest update allows you to customize your level of privacy for additional features. For example, we can browse faster in Chrome by letting the browser proactively load content based on what website we're currently viewing. Or you could have your history synced to all of your devices so you can seamlessly pick up and continue what you were doing from another device. Now in order to get these additional features, we have to give up some of our user data. So when enabling that second example that I just spoke about, in order to gain this functionality, we need to save the URLs that we visit in our browser to our Google account. This is something that I could see Google forcing everyone to opt into when using Chrome, but it's interesting to see this has been added as an opt-in feature. Either way, I'm really enjoying having the choice to give up certain bits of my data in order to gain features that are useful to me. So you may be wondering how this feature works. And as I mentioned, it's actually a hidden feature that needs to be toggled on. So this means that we need to start by opening up the Chrome application and then heading to the experiments page. And we can do that by typing in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags in the address bar to get to this page here. And you're just going to want to search up here at the top, you search for the phrase privacy, and that should filter out all of the other options to reveal this feature right here, as long as you are on version 98 of Chrome. Now this privacy guide flag needs to be set to enabled. As you can see, I have done. And once you change that to enabled, you then need to relaunch the browser using the button that appears in the bottom right corner. Once the browser closes itself and then opens back up, we can find this new privacy guide feature tucked away within the settings area. So we're going to access that by tapping the three dots menu icon and then selecting the settings option. And then from here, just scroll down a little bit so that you can tap on the privacy and security option. And as long as you have enabled that experimental flags, you should then see this new privacy guide option right here. Tapping this will take us through the onboarding process where it allows us to customize our level of data privacy for those added features. So we can just tap on that and we get this page right here talking about the privacy guide. So again, the first option is it allows Chrome to browse faster because the content is proactively loaded based on the content, based on the website you're currently viewing. And you'll also get improved search suggestions in the address bar. But in order to get these two features in Chrome, our URLs that we visit have to be sent to Google so that they can analyze it and improve the suggestions. And you'll also need to share your Chrome usage reports for the URLs you visit again so that they can proactively load that content. So if this is something that you want in your Chrome browser experience, we can toggle this feature on, but if you do not, you can leave it off and then skip to the next feature, which as I mentioned is a history sync. So this feature, if enabled, will allow our history on all of our synced devices so that we can continue where we are whenever we change those devices. If Google is set to your search default search provider, you'll also see better and contextual relevant suggestions as well. And Google is able to provide these two features if we, the URLs that we visit are saved to our Google account.
And I mean, that makes sense. We have to save these URLs to our Google account if we want them to be used on other devices. So if this is something you want, we can toggle this feature on. If not, we can leave it off and tap the next button. Now here we have the safe browsing protection where we can have standard protection against websites, downloads, and extensions, or we can have enhanced protection for faster and proactive protection against dangerous websites, downloads, and ex extensions. This is something that's been in Chrome as a separate feature. It's just another way of accessing it and enabling it. And we can even choose what we want to do whenever we block third-party cookies, whether we want to block them only when in incognito mode or if we want to block them all the time. And once we get this, this step, we're going to be done. So you can either minimize it out or tap the X and then continue using the Chrome web browser as you normally would. Now I could see Google adding or removing features from this onboarding process as the privacy guide matures over time. Remember, this is something that's not even available right now unless you toggle an experimental feature. With that said, Google could bring this feature to the beta and stable builds in the near future. So if you're browsing through the privacy and security section of Chrome one day and you see this privacy guide option while you have never enabled it as shown in this video, then that is likely because Google is happy with the feature and has made it available to everyone.